hype has finally come to a beautiful climax because The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs is finally out and I've got some early gameplay here for you guys. I'm going to be posting a video, well obviously now because you're watching at 8am when the embargo lifts and I'm also going to be posting a video at my usual time of 8pm in the UK today as well. So you're going to get two Sims Cats and Dogs videos today here for the price of one. So in this video, I'm gonna be just kind of getting a little bit used to the whole create a pet function and creating a little Eevee beanie. And then in tonight's video, I'm gonna be creating Oliver and Darcy and having a little bit of a look at how Sims 4 Cats and Dogs compares to Sims 3 Pets. Just because we made Oliver, Darcy and Evie recently, so it would be nice to do a little bit of a comparison between the two of them. So if you guys are excited for this video and for tonight's video, don't forget to give this a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be getting Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And don't forget to share this video if you've enjoyed it. And then don't forget to check back in this evening so you can watch more Sims 4 Cats and Dogs early on this channel. So all my mods have been disabled. This happens every single time. It's a big update to the game, so don't worry too much about that. But here, welcome to the Sims for cats and dogs so we can create cats and dogs use a powerful create a pet tool to express your creativity you customize your pets perfect cats dogs puppies and kittens choose from a variety of breeds give them personalities and manipulate their features you can bond with our pets experience the companionship and fun that furry friends bring to your sims lives cats and dogs have minds of their own which means we won't be able to control them which i think is a better way to do pets in the sims you could become a vet and run a clinic so the plan is for little kira to become a vet and kira and charlie rose are going to move out to brand new Riddleton Bay. So I don't think we're gonna have both of them as vets. I think it'll just be Kira and it's gonna be a brand new series to so watch out for that this week as well. I'm gonna try and get two episodes of that out for this week. And we can also explore Brindleton Bay, which is the coastal shores and new world where your Sims and their pets can live and out enjoy outdoor activities, play fetch near the harbor docks, take a walk to the lighthouse or visit a park to set up an obstacle course. Oh my gosh, so, so much cute stuff that you can do. So guys, I think we kick straight off by creating a little pet in the new game tab. So what I'm gonna be doing is creating Evie in this one. I'm actually gonna add her to the Clara and Ali existing Sims. I'll pop all of this on, gal on the gallery when the embargo lifts. So tomorrow I'm gonna drop a link in the comments so look out for that it might be added a little bit later on because 8 a.m is awfully early but it means you'll be able to download them with evie and then later on today i'm going to be adding the cat so if you want the cats wait to the end of the day and get the complete package <gasps> i'm also now just listening to the intro with headphones on and there is new cats and dogs music you guys so the intro music is a little bit different which is nice i love the music in the sims so much so that's made me really happy. And obviously we get this cuteness here as well. I just exited so that I could turn my mods back on. Because this game without mods is very sad. Very sad. So we've got Claire and Ali. Now we need all of our wonderful little pets. And here is the new little paw symbol. We've also got an occult sim. Oh my gosh, that's an alien. Okay, I did, they seem to have got their own little extra sort of crazy thing going on there. So we can add a dog, we can add a cat. Or we can make a mixed breed. So we're going to be making Evie. She is not a mixed breed. She is actually a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Well, call, people call them King Charles Spaniels. That's totally different. They are just Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. But I thought we would just have a little look at some of the doggies on display. We've got Afghan Hound, an Airedale Terrier. We've got an Akita, Alaskan Malamu. Oh my gosh, I love those dogs so much. And there's a few different color variations for these breeds as well. So... You can kind of start with whichever one you want, I guess. An American Eskimo. I actually thought they were a little bit smaller, but there you go. An Australian Cattle Dog. Australian Sheep Dog. One of the potential breeds that we will be getting as our second dog. Love these doggies so much, especially because you get these, these different color eyes. Very, very cute. Okay, so these are slightly smaller breeds. Uh, we've got a Basenji. Basenji. I've never heard that word said out loud, you know. We've got a beagle. Oh, they're so loud. Oh, we've got this Bedlington Terrier. A black and town, a uh, black and town coonhound. A black Russian Terrier. I love the little movement they all make. A bloodhound. Look at his little teeth poking out. A blue tick coonhound. I don't even know half of these breeds. Like, I've never heard of a bocca before, but it's very cute. Is it like, I don't know what it is, but I like it a lot. Super cute. It kind of looks like a cavapoo. Is this like a border collie? Love those doggies. Guys, I could go all day here. French Bulldog. Oh, no, it's a Boston Terrier. There we go. 
I'm gonna just pick out a few of the kind of breeds that I quite like. I know a lot of people like corgis. So you guys are probably gonna like it if I show off a little corgi there. Chow Chows, they've got the uh, blue tongue. I don't know if we can see his tongue. Do you wanna stick your tongue out, doggy, so we can see it, please? <gasps> a panda one! Oh my gosh, I've seen people die their dog like that. So look, you can get a cockapoo. So cute, you guys. I do like cockapoos a lot. A cocker spaniel. <gasps> Love cocker spaniels, you guys. So this is an English toy spaniel. This is what when people say like King Charles, this is like straight up King Charles's look more like this. They've got like the really flat nose. I'm not a big fan because it means it's really difficult for a poor little doggy to breathe. Uh, field spaniels, what? they're one of my faves too. And then look, a fox. Oh my gosh. And you can get the different colors on his fur as well. And this is actually quite realistic because they have domesticated foxes in Russia. So you could get a pet fox if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful German shepherds. <gasps> Golden Retriever, that's Ali's fave dog breed right there. That's the one I was thinking of getting for in the Suburb series as their like family dog. <gasps> Kishand, we've looked into those. We've actually, <gasps> guys, I am actually blown away by the variation of dogs. Like, look at this little pom, so cute. I did not expect there to be this much. Oh wow, that's actually a really cute pug because it's got like long legs and like a long slim body. I like that. <gasps> Some moyads. <laughs> I love them so much, but you know what I haven't seen yet? I have not seen, ooh, a Siberian husky. I haven't seen a Cavalier King Charles, so I tell you what, we will have a quick look. We will use this breed searcher, and let's see. Guys, 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 I don't think there's, I don't think there's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. King Charles Spaniel they've got? <gasps> okay, they haven't called it a Cavalier. Oh, guys, they got me all worried then. So this is a King Charles Spaniel. This is what little beanie is. They've actually only done four, uh, three colors, but there are four colors of King Charles Cavaliers. There's this, which is Blenheim. There is this, which is tricolor. Oh, actually, I guess that's more the tricolor. And then that is black and tan. What they don't have is ruby, which is all brown, but we're gonna be making the bean. So it will be this color variation, but obviously this isn't very bean-like at the moment. So we're gonna have to make some changes to make her fully bean because she has got a lot more brown on her than this. And also I would say her fur isn't quite as long as that. So let's see how much we can kind of customize this. So we could, if we wanted to kind of change her tail, but I think, I think they've definitely got the right tail on her. Her tail is, I mean, it's doing this all the time. Cubs never stop wagging their cute little tails. <gasps> we can get her to pose as well. This is handy. It get, it's a good way to see all of them as well. Oh, I want to tickle her tummy when she does that. But what I'm kind of seeing as well is one you can change here. So you could make her a little bit more of a fatty if you wanted or a thin. Evie is really slim. Like she's a super slim dog. You can make her muscular or kind of just skinny. I would say Evie again is pure skinny. Evie's ears. So Evie's ears are actually, I would say, longer than this. Which is great, because look at that. I can make them longer and bigger. <gasps> so I can, I can kind of like puff the whole thing and make the whole thing just bigger in general or slant it, or I can pull them down. Now Evie's ears are long. They're also quite big, so I want to give them like full size, but also pull them down. It doesn't have a, oh, it does have a detailed edit. It has a detailed edit mode, you guys, which I'm guessing is for the face. But I think we're kind of there. I think we're kind of there on the face, but I can move like her nose, make it bigger or smaller. I can make her eyes. She's got pretty big eyes. I'm kind of thinking I need to go quite big on the old eyes for Labine because she has got big eyes. And I can kind of change like her jowls, make those go up and down as well. So you can see that here. Hers are a little bit further down like this. And then the sides of her head. I could make her head bigger or smaller. So that's like a big fat one or like a little bit of a more slim one with the wider cheeks up top. This is actually really good. There's quite a lot you can do. I've kind of messed with her face a little bit there. I'm not gonna lie to you. <gasps> I can change the color of her nose as well. So I could give her like these little markings if I wanted. The thing is, Evie is definitely all black. So she is like this. I'm gonna get a picture up of her just to make sure I get her absolutely spot on. Oh, she's so cute. I've got her like next to my Xbox One, so. So I actually think she's kind of like, this bit here is wider at the bottom. So I don't wanna make that, I don't wanna make her too like top heavy on her head. And her head's a little wider than that as well. She doesn't have a skinny up top kind of head. She's got, I'd say about a medium sized snout length for a calf. And I'm looking at her jowls and they're not as big as I originally made them. So I've popped them up a little bit more. 
and also looks like she's doing a little smile. I'm definitely gonna like reduce her chest and stuff a little bit though because that's sticking out so far. Like, she's actually nothing like that. I'm gonna make it just kind of like, she was kind of here before. Evie's a very slim dog. Like, she is absolutely tiny. I can't make that any smaller. Which is a shame, because honestly, I would. It's definitely like having a look of Evie. I've got to get some more bits right, though. I've got to get her coloring right. And one of her, like, most noticeable coloring patterns is she actually has one uh, brown paw and one white paw. So let's see if it's going to let us do that. Oh my gosh, there's a paint mode. Okay, this is really cool. So I can, like, color pick. So I can make sure I'm, like, the same color as, like, her ear here. Oh, okay, it's trying to do like a mirror. Can I turn off the mirror? <gasps> I can't, so this is the mirror. Okay, this right now, I'm gonna say, is already so much better than uh, Sims Pets, Sims 3 Pets, because this was always quite tricky to do on Sims 3 Pets. Okay, so this like hole like up to about here is kind of brown like that. It's like such like a little Eevee sort of characteristic, and it means I can always like spot her in a crowd. In fact, it's really hard trying to make Labine without Labine being right here. So I think we should get Labine so that she can help us out. The bean is Evie. We just call her Bean. I don't know why. It's just a thing that we do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was a bit of an extreme, uh, extreme sort of entrance. Oh, it's Beanie, it's you, This is the Bean in real life. I think, like, her face is too small at the bottom. Oh, yeah. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Look at that. So cute. Is that you? Is that you, Baba? <laughs> You're going to join us on The Sims, finally. Is it me, you, and Evie? Yeah. Aww. Look, like, OG me and you from That's when the so series cool. first started. Look at that. <laughs> so before we're old Evie, before we're old. All right, I'll leave you to it. It looks great Thank though. Thank you. Love it. Okay, Beanie, now that you're here, I can see you are already so much cuter than that doggy. So we need to do some work on you, okay? Mwah. So I need you to stay with me. So I was thinking, do you want to sit behind me? Because you quite like doing that, don't you? So whoop, there we go. So if you sit here, you'll be able to help me out. What do you say to that? Why don't we sit side by side like this? And you could be my little doggy helper, okay? Good girl. You're so cute. How could I ever make you? And it to be even 10% as cute as you are. I just couldn't. And I also noticed in this this doggy's forehead is taking up way too much of the uh, of the overall sort of dog face. So I need to try and move her eyes up a little bit. But it's, this bit is the bit I'm finding a little bit hard. <laughs> if he's licking my arm. Mwah. You're such a good girl, aren't you? Do you know how to move the eyes, Bean? Did they teach you that in doggy school? I'm kind of wondering whether to start with like a different doggy head shape and kind of go from there. Oh, that's how it is when we choose a puppy. And then they kind of go flatters. Oh, as they get older. Trying to do this sort of a dealio. And a little bit lower on the head. So I think that's like, that's not the head that comes with the dog. But I actually think that looks more like the way Evie looks. So I'm kind of going to go with that instead. I know it's a little bit controversial to change that. But I don't care because that's the way that the Labine looks. And she's lying right here with me as proof. And also as reference for her back pattern. Which is cool because I can make her sit like this. And now I'm going to be able to do like her back pattern. Ooh, skinny. Oh wow, I can make her quite a lot thinner. You know what, Evie is quite thin, so I don't mind that at all. You can kind of put like the- so this is very like uh, Sims 3 Pets, the brush type. But we know Evie's back is actually like- her. she's got a Blenheim, a true Blenheim mark. Uh, sorry, a true Blenheim like curve, she hasn't got the spot. But it means that her head does stop like this. And then she's kind of got- this is- Evie, you couldn't be in a more handy space. I think I'm gonna brown you over and then add the white after because you are truly a very, very brown calf, aren't you, my dear? Let's colour you in. What's your tail look like? It looks like it was dimmed, dipped in ink. It's got white at the end, hasn't it? So look at these legs. Oh, Evie, you're a great reference. Okay, we might have to get you to lie on your back. <laughs> can you do like a little bit of a- can we see the same markings? <laughs> Hello. Look how relaxed Evie is. So I want to check the markings like on her side. There you go. <laughs> 
So we can get this doggy in the same pose and then make sure all of the markings are there. Oops, oops. Need to do a bit of a softer brush there, I'm thinking. Something like this. What do we think? That's a bit better, isn't it? Got a little bit more brown in you than that. And now we need the white tool. Oh, you got stamps and stuff. Oh my gosh, look. I could just put like a squid on her. Or like a little moon and stars. Or I could make you a leopard. <gasps> I could give you a heart. So this is if you want to make a crazy pet. But I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the more like, se I don't want to put a poo on my dog, you know? I like like the more sensible kind of ones. Oh, these are cool though. That gradually like builds up a pattern over time. <gasps> so this is if you want to make your doggy like cross stitch. Oh, so that's cool. Oh wow, or like a um, robo dog. Or if you want to make your dog into a zebra. What do you reckon? Do you want to live out on the plains as a zebra? Oh, thanks for my licks, Bubba. Or a cow. Oh, this is cool. So it kind of shows you gently what it's going to look like if you decide to go ahead with it. I like that a lot. Oh, this is, that's so cool. Guys, this is really cool. I'm liking this a lot so far. Oh, I like this because it kind of shows that her hair is a little bit longer. And it has like a little bit of this to it. So I'm like, f I've put the marks on and now I'm like fading them in. Because you can turn down the amount. This this is a great, absolutely great, great, great little tool. I really like this. I actually, I actually gonna put it out there and say this is a lot better than The Sims 3 for designing. Because I actually found the other one a little bit painful at times. I know that's unpopular to say, but that's how I feel. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I do think that that's probably the marking she's got on her back. <gasps> okay, so now I can change up her fur a little bit. She's kind of set to this style of fur already. Oh wow, that completely changes her shape, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, no, you don't look like that. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, that's so funny. That's not how she looks, you guys. It'd be cool if you could like do fur specific to an area. I'd quite like that. Because Evie, while she has a really long um the really long tail and really long ears. So her chest is more like that. Because Evie is half this and half this. So EA, if there's a way we can have both, that would be amazing. But this is the bit I think I was most excited for, which is putting little outfits on your pets. I'm just gonna move that a bit because my, uh, <laughs> this has moved again. So Evie has a lot of clothes. She has a, uh, ooh, ooh, where's your clothes gone? She actually has a little hoodie, uh, just like this one. But she wears it with the hood down, you guys. Hood down on the hoodie. So I guess it ends up a little bit more like that, doesn't it? <gasps> She's got this. She has this exact outfit. Look on my Instagram, she has this. So I'm gonna have a look at the little color variations we can get. Some really, really cool ones, you guys. She has um, a little gray number like this that she looks really cute in. She's got a gray hoodie as well, but we don't put it over her ears like that. She doesn't go for the over ear. <gasps> she has some pajamas that she sleeps in. Why can't I set like a per outfit type thing? Because she literally has the cutest pajamas in the whole world. Uh, and if she ever gets like irritated skin or anything, she sleeps in pajamas. She does. Check my Instagram again. Oh my gosh, we can dress her as a hot dog, you guys. Hot dog dog. <gasps> I'm enjoying this. This is a nice jumper. Very kind of winter style jumper. Loving that. Bandana. Our animals wear bandanas a lot. So I like this. There's like a little sailor number like this one. And then we've got kind of just a little sort of floral pattern one. Just like this. And then we've got some with little paw prints on. Or just like, I like these ones. Like the more traditional style bandana. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh, she can wear really cute, cute, cute little sort of... It's almost like a doggy dress. <gasps> Evie, you're so pretty. So pretty. And that's, oh, we've got, so, okay. So she, oh my God, she can wear both. So we could put her in. So if we give her like, um, oh my gosh, how did I miss this by the way? You can dress it as a shark, as a shark. And it looks really like cozy and nice. If I give her a nice bandana, she's got a blue one just like that. Uh, she could wear a bow in her hair. She could become, um, I am bread. She could become a unicorn, a different color unicorns too. We could do- oh, I can take that off her. We could just give her a regular collar. Evie's collar actually looks- it's a leather one. It's like that. That's the collar Evie wears. We gave her that one because it's the same as the one in Lady and the Tramp. So there you go. She could wear a little bow tie instead though, you guys. Or she could wear a big scary one. But that's not Labine. That is Labine. 
She often wears these two together, so I'm quite happy to keep her like that. And you can decide what she wears to do walkies, which is obviously going to be this little one here. Actually, you know what? She wears a harness to walk in, so please can we add harnesses to the games? That would be amazing. Oh, harnesses! <gasps> oh, that's not a true harness. Okay, this game needs CC pretty desperately, you guys, because it's going to be pretty amazing with CC. So, I think that's pretty good. We have Labine ready to add to the game. We need to quickly do this little section here. So, she is called Evie Calorie Aiken. Um, her personality. So... She can be active, adventure. Oh, should we see what she does? Active. <laughs> she can be adventurous. That's a similar sort of one. She's like sniffing the ground. Evie's quite adventurous. She could be, oh no, aggressive. Oh, no, aggressive. Oh, look at her scary teeth. Okay, Evie is definitely not aggressive, you guys. She could be a couch potato. Actually, that is quite a lot like Evie. She could be friendly. Oh, that is definitely Evie. She could be a glutton. Kind of Evie as well, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. She could be hairy. No, what is she doing when she's hairy? Is she like sticking her fluff all over the house? I don't think so. A hunter? No, she's not that either. Although she does chase squirrels and stuff. She's definitely not independent, you guys. Jumpy, where she's a little bit fearful. <gasps> no, I think that's the one they give calves. Calves are not jumpy, you know. That's like the one they auto gave her breed. She's not jumpy. Loyal for sure. They want to be close to their owners and love being petted. They like to follow their owners around. Beanie, that's definitely you. Playful, they want to play all the time. Evie likes sleeping a little bit more than that. They can be a sleuth. They're more curious and they like to investigate. She's like, uh, smart. I'm sorry, Evie. That's not you. Stubborn. Well, you sure pull on your lead, little bean. Troublemaker. We'll save that one for Darcy, I think. Oh, <gasps> it's pooping! No! Or vocal. Okay, luckily, she's not vocal either. I'm gonna say she's definitely, definitely loyal. Um, she's definitely friendly. And I'm probably gonna say she is a hunter, you know. Because whenever we go for a walk, she's always trying to chase rabbits and that kind of thing. But don't worry, because she never actually manages to catch them, you guys. Never manages to catch the webbits. Just notice some little things that aren't quite right about her. So this bit here should be um, the same colour. And then this bit here, in between her legs, this is when I'm going to use the butterfly. This bit is all uh, white down here. There we go. There we go. Blend it in a little bit like that. So I think she's looking pretty good, you guys. She's definitely looking... Very Eve-tastic, which I like a lot. We've given her her little traits, and she is looking pretty adorable right now. Look at that belly scritch attention pose. She's got her little sit-up-and-beg style pose. Uh, she's got her little cute sit pose. And she's got... Oh my gosh, just her adorable little face. <gasps> Where's your bandana gone, Labine? Get your bandana back on. So there is little Evie, because obviously Claire, Claire and Ali are old in my series now and we're not gonna get a chance to play with them i am just gonna oh, i'm holding her i'm just gonna quickly see how she is in game so this is um calorie aiken and evie love 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 that these will be on the gallery i can't do it as i'm uploading uh, as i'm creating this video because i can't uh, put them on the gallery before the embargo lifts Ooh, need some peach juice after all that so this we're gonna be showing off tomorrow when we start the new pet series so for now, I am just going to pop them somewhere nice and safe. Nice and safe? I mean, not brand new. We're just going to pop them in a regular old house now, just so we can see how the dog is in game. <gasps> okay, so OG Ali and Claire, when we were still young. And here's little Evie, you guys. We have to drop the camera to the floor to be able to see her in all her cute little glory. Actually, you know what? That is a, that is a good Evie. That actually looks so much like our little bean. She is so like her. <gasps> I love that. Little baby bean is finally in game. I'm just sorry you weren't there before Claire and Ali got old, beanie, okay? That is the only shame in this. Because it meant otherwise you would have been in the Dreamhouse series right from the start. Oh, guys, she's actually so cute. I love her so much. Okay, Ali, why don't you see what kind of... Re interactions you can do with her so we can talk to her 
We can post it onto Simstagram. We can give her a little treat. Offer her some, um, give her some pets. There was an offer friendship selection there. Offer friendship. Talk to her. <gasps> you can do training so you can teach her to speak. She can't do that in real life. Uh, she can do sit, roll over, lie down. If you've got a bowl, you can teach her to fetch. And you can go on a walk with her, ask her to go potty. So we're going to have to train her like everything. We are going to have to give her all of her training. So look, we could go on a short walk with her. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm Simstagramming her, you guys. I forgot that I was going to be doing this. She's kind of not looking at me though. Never mind. We'll still post her onto Simstagram. There we go. Oh, she's got she's got an awfully hot low bark for a bean. He's loving her though. Oh. Little baby beanie. Oh, he's giving her little little attentions and stuff, you guys. I love this. I absolutely love this so much. I think that this game was definitely missing some pets. She's changed out of her bandana. Does that mean she's gonna go on a walk? Oh, he's put a lead on her. Oh my gosh, we never use that kind of a lead, you guys. We never use a, a, a retractable lead like that because you don't get as much control over them. Cause, so she always is on like a much shorter lead than that. But there they go. And that is how little Evie Beefy looks in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget, I am going to be putting them onto the gallery. So if you want to download that, check the comments below. And I will have a little... Oh, look at her go. I will have a little link to both of the... Uh, all three of those guys on the gallery. And don't forget to check at 8pm tonight for when the cats are going to be added as well. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a little like and share it if you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for the new pet series starting tomorrow with Kira and with Charlie Rose. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.